Pure Bond, Chapter 15, The Training Begins. While Sarah and the girls are spending their spring break in Tokyo, Japan, Jack and the guys are spending their spring break back at home, but Jack and his friends have special plans during the one-week vacation. The week before the break, Jack told Tyler and Kyle that he was going to be spending some time during the week training with Ryo in order to hone his skills and better prepare himself to protect Sarah and those who mean everything to him, his friends included. After he told them his plans, Tyler and Kyle decided to join him and train with Ryo as well. So they all decided to meet up at Ryo's place and learn everything they need to know about self-defense to protect themselves from any danger that comes their way. It's now spring break in the Windy City and at Jack's house, Jack was lying on his bed thinking about his ordeal with Reginald and his henchmen. They caught us by surprise and we didn't even see it coming. I couldn't protect her then, but this time I will protect Sarah and all my friends, no matter what. Moments later, Jack's little brother Tony came in to check up on him. Hey Jack, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good here bro. What's up? Oh nothing. I just wanted to make sure you're alright. That's all. Don't worry Tony. I'll be fine. Trust me. I know you will Jack. Just take good care of yourself. You got it. With that said, Tony left Jack's room and closed the door behind him. Afterward, Jack grabbed his cell phone and called Rio. Hey, Rio. What's up, Jack? When's a good time to show up at your place today? I don't have anything else to do today, so you guys can show up at any point, and I'll be sure to provide you all with a good meal when you get here. Thanks, man. I definitely appreciate your generosity. No problem. You can always count on me. I'll text you all the address so you don't get lost. I'll be waiting. Yeah. Catch you later, Rio. Jack then hung up the phone, got up from his bed, and then left his room. He then went downstairs and ate breakfast with his family. His dad Thomas then asked him a question. So, son, are you planning on seeing your friend Rio today? I am, and I'm ready to learn everything that he'll teach me. This is what I want. I want this train to protect my friends, and I'll do whatever it takes to do that. I know you can do it, Jack. I have complete faith in you, and so does your father. Do what you believe is right, and do whatever it takes to succeed. Thanks, Mom. I'll do my best. You're welcome, son. An hour later, Jack was ready to head out and pick up Tyler and Kyle. All right, guys. I'm off. I'll call you all later tonight. Good luck, Jack. You got this. Just try not to hurt yourself too much, okay? I'll be fine, Tony. Don't worry about me. Stay safe out there, Jack. I will, I promise. Well, I'm out of here. I'll see you all later. Jack got in his car, drove off from his house, and his family waved him goodbye. He then drove up to Tyler's place first, and Tyler was there at the front door waiting for his arrival. Jack parked in front of his house. Tyler then walked towards his car. About time, man. Looks like you're ready for this training. Yeah, and you? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm just as eager as you to see what Rio would teach us. I'm hoping that I gain something from his lessons once he's finished with us. Well, we'll soon find out once we get there. Come on, let's go get Kyle. You got it. They both got in the car and they made their way to Kyle's house in about 18 minutes. When they got there, Jack knocked on his door and then Kyle answered the door. Took you guys long enough. You know, I'm really looking forward to Rio's training session. This way we'll be able to protect ourselves and the girls better than ever before. I couldn't agree with you more, my friend. Come on, it's time we finally met up with Rio. Yeah, let's go. The three left Kyle's house and then drove their way to Rio's place. While they were driving there, they were having a little chat. Jack told them the status on the girls. I've gotten a text from Sarah the other day, and it looks like she and the others have already made some new friends during the trip. I know. Laura sent me a pic of their new friends. Wow, they all look pretty cute. Especially that red-haired girl. I would totally be friends with her. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see that. I'm sure Jesse will tell you more about her when they get back later during the week. I'm just glad that they're all having a great time out there. 
and I'm quite positive that they'll bring some souvenirs too. I hope it's something pretty good. Guess we'll find that out real soon. 26 minutes have passed, and Jack, Tyler, and Kyle have finally made it to Rio's house. Looks like we're here at last. Yeah, I gotta say, his place looks pretty decent. Jack then parked his car in front of Rio's house. Then he asked the guys a question. Well, are you guys up for this? I mean, this training could be intense. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Come on, Jack. We want to do this. We're not turning back now. We have got to be prepared for whatever comes our way. Because anything can happen at any given point in time. He's right, man. I'm up for the challenge. We're sticking by your side whether you want us to or not. Yeah, you guys are right. You both would have came no matter what I say. Got that right, pal. We're all in this together. So let's all do our very best. Best pals for life? Best, best pals, pals for, for life. life. Jack, Tyler, and Kyle got out of the car and made their way to the front door. They rang the door, and moments later, Rio opened the door and greeted his best friends. Hey guys, I'm glad you all made it. I've been waiting for you. Glad to be here too, Rio. We're ready for whatever you're willing to teach us. I'm happy to hear your determination. So are you guys ready? Oh yeah. You know it. Let's do it. Excellent, then let's get started. Rio escorted his best friends inside his home and gave them a tour around the house. From the main hall, to the bedrooms, to the kitchen, the antique room, and finally, the dojo. The guys made their way to the Takano Dojo to end the tour. Wow, this is a swell looking dojo you have here, Rio. I have to agree with him on that. So this is where you train most of the time. That's right. I spend most of my free time here. I told you once before that I've been training here with my father a lot throughout the years. And we can see it all paid off. Your dad surely is one great teacher. Yeah, he sure is. But now, even I have to learn my own way of martial arts. I can't live in my father's shadow forever. We understand what you mean, Rio. We all want to experience things our own way. So it makes sense you want to learn martial arts on your own, without your dad's guidance. Thanks, Jack. So are you guys ready for today's training? Yes, yes sensei. sensei. Great, then let's begin. Jack, Tyler, and Kyle wore their exercise attire while Rio wore his training gear. The three men were all standing next to one another while Rio stood in front of them. He bows to the three men, and they bow right back at him. So I know you're all determined to protect Sarah, Laura, Jesse, and Christina, and believe me, so am I. But there will come a time when you'll have to defend yourself too. And so today, I will be teaching you all the art of self-defense. Sensei, can you explain to us what it is? Sure, Tyler, I will. Rio began explaining to them the meaning of self-defense. Self-defense comes in many varieties, but essentially it's a countermeasure that involves defending the health and well-being of oneself. There's also the right of self-defense. This applies to defending another person or others who are in need. You have the right to use reasonable and defensive force for the sole purpose of defending one's own life or the lives of others. I see. So basically, if someone who poses a threat to us, no matter where we are, we have the right to use acceptable force on them if our lives are being threatened? Correct, and it doesn't matter if the offender is armed or unarmed. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a demonstration. I'll be the defender and Kyle uh, will be the offender. You don't mind, do you, Kyle? Sure, why not? Kyle got up on the floor and walked towards Rio. Okay, what I want you to do is have your right arm around my neck. Are you sure, Sensei? Of course. Kyle then wrapped his right arm around Rio's neck, and Rio then explained what to do in that situation. Okay, so I'm currently in a stranglehold with my offender. So what do I do? I try and find an opening in my current situation. Rio thrusts his left elbow toward Kyle's stomach. When he did, Kyle unwrapped his arm around him. Then Rio went on the offensive and flipped him down to the ground. Whoa! That was pretty good, Rio. Oh man, I heard you were good, but I didn't know you were this good. Rio extended his hand to Kyle. He grabbed his hand and lifted him up from the floor. The key is to stay calm under pressure and find your opponent's opening and then counter-strike. Everyone may have their own way of going about it. Uh, Alright, Jack and Tyler, why don't you give it a shot? Yes, yes sensei. sensei. Jack and Tyler began doing the same demonstration that Rio did on Kyle. 
Jack used his own maneuvers to get out of Tyler's stranglehold, while Tyler ended up using the same maneuver that Ryo used on Kyle. The guys spent over three hours learning the art of self-defense from Ryo. Unknown from their eyes, Ryo's parents were watching their son brilliantly teach his friends what he knows. After today's training session was complete, the four friends were all lying on the mat, completely sweaty and exhausted from all the lessons that they were performing. <sighs> Man, Ryo. Whew. I didn't imagine this would be something you would do every day. You tell me. I, I can barely catch my breath here. <sighs> you know, I, I kind of like it. It was definitely a cool experience. I'm just eager to see what you have more to teach us, Ryo. Don't worry. This is only the beginning. I'm willing to teach you everything I know. That way we'll have a better chance at stopping Mr. Edwards and anyone else who tries to threaten us. The guys then took showers after their training session, and after they did, Ryo prepped up dinner for his best friends, and they all started eating. Thanks, Ryo. We appreciate everything you're doing for us. No problem at all, Jack. After what happened with you and Sarah, I want to do everything I can to help you out. Well, I'm looking forward to the next training session tomorrow. I'm just curious to know what it will be this time. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. As long as we stick together and help each other out, we can accomplish anything. We have a bond that is pure, and we won't let anyone break that bond no matter what. Tyler extended his hand to the middle of the table, then the others did the same, placing their hands on top of his. Best pals for life? Best, Best pals, pals for life! life. After dinner, Jack, Tyler, and Kyle made their way to the front door as they walked outside, and Rio stood by the door, making sure that they head out safely. We're looking forward to tomorrow's session, Rio. I'll be waiting. Until then, get home safely, you guys. Alright, Rio. We'll see you tomorrow. Later, man. See you later. Rio bows to his best friends, and they bow right back to show their respect. Afterward, the three men walked towards Jack's car and left the premises. While he watched his friends leave, Rio said in his thoughts, I'll do whatever it takes to help my friends, and no matter what happens, we'll stay strong and be there to support one another. He looked up at the stars for a brief period of time and then headed back in, while Jack and the guys drove off and headed back home where they belong.